can try to teach you how to do it. These it. Get your parents if, you're, if you don't know how to read. Well, nobody knows how to read this. <laughs> no. Look in here. Oh. Caroline is stenciling hieroglyphs. I'm going to focus in on your museum. Caroline decided to start a museum and we found a dragon scale and there's an ancient Egyptian bug in there yeah. and we did we found a skull outside of a chipmunk yeah. so we're researching how to properly sterilize and clean it. Okay first guys this means bolt. I forgot what the, all the other ones mean but this one right here means girl, woman. Yeah. I'm a girl, so I turn. You really have to concentrate. So you're tracing the word for bolt. Yeah. There, there you go. But it's a little tricky to do. Because you can't really see it. You need to get a pencil. And if you can't read what just get your parents and he, they will help you eat. So this, we're going to do one of these. This means king, I think. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be the women one. See, this one's the easy. watching it won't be really good. And then, there you go. Ah! There you go. Let me see it. There you go. That's bold. That's women. Now, come on, guys. Now, we're going to do an animal. I've got one of these. What, these my, mommy, what, do I, what does the line mean again? Well, the lion can just be a lion, but it can also substitute for the sound L. Because yeah. we learned in one of our books that the ancient Egyptians only used consonants, and they didn't even use all of them. So there was no sound for L. So when they came across a foreigner that made an L sound, when they went to write it, they drew a lion. You know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. My name wouldn't have existed in ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. It's because they never had L. Yeah, they didn't have L's, so they wouldn't have thought, hey, I'm going to name my kid Lynn. I would have been mm. Yeah, because mm. did they have an N sound? They do have an N sound. What? Which animal was it? It's not an animal. It, it looks like a river. Are we going to look for Egyptian books when we go to the library in a little bit? Yeah, maybe, but... Kids, this is what you are not supposed to... If you are, like, three and you're terrified of things, don't do this. And you don't know, And if you don't know how to do these, don't do it. But I know how to do these. My mom well, if you don't know how to do them, you should ask somebody who does know to help you. Mm -hmm. And then you can learn how. Just grab and the another piece of paper and put it on 
Okay, we made an appointment. We are at the library. We are in in over our heads because we love all the books. And you're brave. You want me to look at that one too? Yeah. Because you know we only have a stack. I, I, I don't even think that looks scary. Oh my goodness! Look at our hall. We got so many books. I feel like you forget to take your mask off. Do you forget? No, I just wanted to stay on. <laughs> How fun was it to go back to the library? Good. So at our branch, you do have to call and schedule an appointment, which I did Mommy? yesterday. What do you? Do you know that the little boy that sits with me at lunchtime, when it thumbs up, he does this. Oh, no. He does thumbs down. That's crazy. Up, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down. Wow. <laughs> so how excited were you to go back to the library? We got you lots of books on Egypt. Yeah. You did? Yeah. I got you like three or four. All right, guys, that was it for our library haul and a peek at hieroglyphs. I don't know. She wanted to be recorded for the channel, so I obliged. Um, if you'd like to know more about Egyptologist or ancient Egypt or anything like that, I highly recommend checking out the Vintage Egyptologist. Um, Colleen, Dr. Car Colleen Darnell is remarkable. She's so intelligent. She knows a lot about everything. <laughs> she does have a YouTube channel, so check it out. Follow her on Instagram. Um, I know this isn't Indiana Beach related, and I feel like we've done a lot of Indiana Beach here, and most of you guys are probably here for that, so sorry. <laughs> there is more Indiana Beach on its way, um, but we do a lot of things here, so hopefully you came for the Indiana Beach and you'll stick around because you like us. But that is it for now. Um, hit like, hit subscribe, leave us a comment. If you see us out and about, make sure you stop us and say hi, and that is it. We will see you next time.